Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And this is... I was going to start calling you KD. How's that? KD. That sounds right, except it's CD. It's actually CD, though. <laughs> it's actually CD. It doesn't work if I call you KD. I'm going to come up with something for you. It's Kurt, it's Kurt, it's, it's, it's Kurt, da- it's Kurt Davis. Cuda, Cuda. It's Cuda. I don't know. We'll come up with something. Anyways, Kurt Davis is with us. And uh, ever since Kurt's come on with B-Pow, we've been smoking. Hitting like crazy, boys and girls. I'd highly, highly, highly recommend you get over to B-Pow Picks. Uh, you just just go into Safari and go B-Pow Picks. And it'll come on in your Patreon. And you can do it. But I always forget to put the freaking link in the bio but i'm going to put the link in the bio this time remember i got to remember that um we are associated with steelflyers.com network uh find us in the land you go check it out we all sports network i do a live every day between uh 12 and 2 eastern and uh, you can check me out on that thanks for your subscriptions we got another subscriber on patreon last night i'm going to send you a my nhl pearls of wisdom necklace to your door perlocoptered in in uh by i think melissa i think hernandez is going to take a day off tomorrow he gets one of those every couple months or so so yeah so you melissa will be sending you over your my nhl pearls of wisdom necklace and you can get one too if you hit the subscribe bell or subscribe to our patreon Imagine that. Signed by Curtis and I, too, right, Kurt? Right. Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kurt. So you, we're, we talk hockey here all the time. We're going to give you a bunch of hockey picks here. Don't worry about it. Settle down. It's coming. It's coming. But uh, we had some basketball picks, didn't we? We did. Uh, um, I, I don't post too many, but uh, you asked me uh, to take a look at some basketball games and you know, and. and I'm by far not a handicap or a basketball, but uh, I do recognize certain spots in that. But uh, we're 2-0 on our basketball picks since uh, you and me started doing this. So yeah. uh, just pretty proud of that. I almost pulled one tonight, and I'm glad I didn't, or we'd be 2-1. <laughs> uh, so, well, we're ten, as, a, as a whole, I'm 10-4 and four on basketball picks, so we're doing pretty good that way. Uh, I think since you've come in for hockey, we're something like, 10 and 4 or something like that too so we're doing on, on, bas- on hockey on hockey oh, oh hockey since you yeah, I- since you've come in to join me join us we're 10 and 4 i, I, I went on a bad run just before kurt came in and he come to save the day i went like eight or nine in a row i i got incorrect first time i think ever i did that but okay yeah, I think, yeah. What's yeah, what one top pick? You had uh, one paid for pick tonight, and uh, I sent out two, and uh, we both hit. <laughs> yeah, for you know, we'll go over that real quick here. Vancouver, I had in regulation against Ottawa, and we nailed that. Now, what was the final yeah. on that? Four one? Was it finally four one? One. What's that? Just missed for you know in our video uh, we leaned the over on that game, but uh, uh, it didn't make it as a paid pick or anything, but. Uh, um, I just went with sides tonight. I didn't go with the totals. And we both leaned toward the over on, I think, both the games, and neither one uh, hit. So uh, I'm glad we stayed away from the totals tonight. Yeah, well, the other one, I I was really unsure. I just said, eh, whatever, because it wasn't really I, – I didn't really like the totals on either one. I didn't think Ottawa was going to be able to score enough probably to get it, and they didn't. And then uh, as far as uh, Chicago – You had the beautiful one that woke me up to the plus one and a half for 174. I put that out, and uh, we got that. So that was a nice little play there. Uh, Yeah, we did well. Did well. So let's do well. We're going to do well tomorrow, too. I'm telling you right now. We are going to do well. So we got some paid picks. We don't give you our paid picks. You got to go to Patreon for that. Uh, And uh, check out BPAL picks. You can get our paid picks there. Had a guy come in yeah, last night, said, I've been watching you guys for a year. Thank you very much. Uh, I thought I'd support you. Yeah, you don't really have to do it to, you know, maybe get the best picks, although you will. Just the support we're giving you for these fine picks would be great. Um, Pittsburgh versus uh, Pittsburgh-Boston. We got a pick on the line here. 
Um, so what do you got on the total at five and a half? What do you like on that, Kurt? Uh, it, it, it's going to depend on the, the goalies and that. Um, I saw a stat or, or, or heard a stat yesterday or today uh, that has me leaning toward the over, which, you know, most of the time you lean toward the overs on Pittsburgh games anyway. But one of the stats I saw is if, uh, in NHL, the teams that are playing like back-to-back -back games, the same uh, teams, if they miss the line by one goal, go the opposite way the next game. So, you know, they went under on the last game. So, you know, if I had to recommend something, I'd recommend the over on the game. Yeah, it's on a back-to-back. -back, so I think the reason why that would be the case is because they, usually it means their backups are playing the next game. Mm -hmm. Boston's playing Halak and Pittsburgh's playing playing to Smith probably. Now for you that would you would you like to Smith better than Jari? So maybe that doesn't make well, you as confident on uh, the over on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And Demo, Demo, the Pittsburgh's out Demolin and a few defensemen so. It's possible Boston runs it up a little bit on there. I could see it being over. I'd probably lean the over with you on that one. But we're, we're, uh, we're not going to talk sides, right? No, we're not talking sides on this one. All right. Uh, okay, Rangers versus Buffalo. I don't have a pick on either one of these. Do you have any? Like, I don't have a paid pick on either one of these. What do you like on that? Uh, I have a, a strong... Uh, I think New York Rangers are going to come back and get a game there. Um, they've owned uh, Buffalo, uh, in Buffalo. But, you know, when you look at their uh, roster and the Buffalo's roster, they have just as much talent. Uh, they, they truly do. And, um, again, I want to see who, who the goalie is in there. But uh, uh, Shesterkin is confirmed. Favored. So, uh, Worst scenario, uh, you know, and again, you got to look at the juice of it. Um, uh, I would probably take the Rangers plus one and a half again, which is what I did the last time. And um, uh, if the juice is too much, maybe parlay it with something to, to cut down the juice. Yeah, I think the juice would be like a one, half your money pretty much. I'm just looking at how much. Uh, yeah, the Rangers have played a fair amount, but not overly too much. And Buffalo... Same. They both played the same. So, um, I don't know. I like the way Buffalo's roll in here. And I have a feeling you, you, you might have a coaching problem in uh, New York. I'm going to go against you here and go with Buffalo again, but only slightly, seriously. Like, I really am not. So, what about and the over-under on that at six? It seems like exactly the number, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, that looks like a push. Uh, I think I leaned over the last time. You know, I didn't play it or anything. Um, you know, and that's what we talk. We talk about sides and totals on every single game, you know, uh, just to give some people some input in that. But uh, um, it's not one I'm going to rush to the window with. Yeah, I agree. Okay, Tampa Bay, Carolina. This is a tough play because uh, Carolina is playing the first game in a long time. Uh, or is it the first game of the season? No. No. no, 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 it's not their first one, no. Yeah, it's like but, their third game or something like that. Um, that one, I, you know, uh, again, there's too many variables you don't know about and everything, but the, um, Tampa Bay owns them. Um, they're the reigning champs. They still got ten times more talent than the Carolina. I'd have to... Uh, uh, suggest uh, Tampa Bay in that game. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd say 10 times the talent. I think Carolina's got quite a bit of talent. I don't know who's going to be in, who's going to be playing. That's the problem I have with that for Carolina because most of these guys are all on COVID. Yeah. And uh, um, what did I have? Uh, Carol, I'll go to Carolina really quick. Like, it could be really bad for them. Jesper Fast, Slavin, Fogel, Martin, Nick, Taravine, and are they going to be back or not? It doesn't show on the, on my injury app, which is uh, Roto World. Fan, Roto World. Roto World is the best there. I said it. Uh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't say anything on there. 
that they are going to be uh, back. So if that's the case, then I'm going to go Tampa Bay all day here. I might even be giving you a paid pick because yeah. I'll, I'll be going Tampa Bay on that for sure. Yeah, uh, and just to give you an idea, I think Carolina's closed the gap as far as the talent. So, you know, uh, I didn't mean that they were 10 times more. They have closed the gap. But uh, Tampa Bay's 15-5 and five in that series, and uh, that's pretty strong stats. Uh, I'd be curious to see where the five wins were for Carolina. I'd be willing to bet they were in the last year or two because uh, they've improved so much the last two years. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And then Tampa Bay's getting one, almost like 170-ish. You can find it for 176. That's not bad juice for that game. So take Tampa Bay on the ML is what I'm, we're trying to say there, I think. As yep. far as over-under is concerned, I'm probably leaning the over at 5.5. There's a lot of shooters on here. And if they play Morazic in Carolina, or, um, you know, I could see it going over. I'm not. It's not really a super strong lean, but I would lean on the over. How about you? I'm on the fence post on that one. Uh, I really can't say either way. Uh, you know, uh, um, last seven games, uh, five have gone under, so, and two have gone over. Mm. Uh, it's hard to say when you got two teams that haven't played in a while, is it going to be sloppy and rusty or yeah. uh, be uh, fresh and fast? Um, yeah. You know, the two don't like each other. The two teams don't like each other at all. Yeah. And uh, so uh, how physical is it going to be? How many penalties is it going to be? Both teams are um, pretty much pretty disciplined at not getting the penalties. So um, I don't know. I, I, I Personally, I'd probably lean under. Um, again, it's not one I'm going to run to the window with. Yeah, it's it's a coin flip pretty much. I'm just It's just how you feel. Uh, Florida versus Columbus, the break my heart. Florida Panthers uh, screwed two of my picks last game. Uh, I think we both are. Uh, okay, did I put a pick in for Columbus on here? I don't think I did put a solid pick on the Jack. Okay, I'm gonna. this could be a paid pick too. Uh, I got Jackets ML in the under again. I'm going to go back to the well. What about you? I agree with uh, the Columbus. Uh, I can't see Florida going in there twice and beating them. Um, they outplayed Columbus last time. Outshot them uh, by about 15 goals, uh, shots on goal, I think, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, um Kind of lean the, the, the over again. It, it, it's going to come down to who's in goal. Well, I know that. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure. It, pretty sure it's going to be Merzlikens and Drigger. Uh, um, I'd lean over uh, personally. Yeah. Okay. So we're yeah. split on that. I won't put it in a pick on our Patreon for sure. If we're split, that's something that we do uh, now. That if uh, Kurt and I agree, that becomes a that becomes a play a Patreon play. Uh, so, and it's working out really well because ever since, like, we've been doing really well. We're doing really well over there. Uh, Philadelphia, New Jersey. Um, my Philadelphia Flyers with uh, Carter Hart in net, and you've mentioned that they, uh, I, I think we got to play here on the total. So, what about the line? Are Correct. You, you're looking Philly. You're looking Philly on the line, too, though, right? Uh, I lean Philly, uh, but the thing that sticks in my mind that's going to keep me from going to the window on Philly is uh, Hart's numbers uh, from the uh, home, uh, his home numbers compared to his way numbers. He's like Jekyll and Hyde, and he's been like that. I mean, it's not just this year. It's historically, he's for whatever reason, does not seem to play well on the road. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, th I said it was a fluke at one time, but I don't know. It's starting to not look like a fluke anymore. I do know that Philly has been on the road for, oh, uh, one, two. I guess it's not too long, three, four. It seems like Philly's played a lot more than they have for some reason. Um, didn't, didn't, um, didn't somebody get injured on Philly? Uh, yeah, the, 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 they got some injuries, yeah. Couturier... Yeah. Myers might be back for this game. And if Myers is back for this game, I like Flyers ML for sure. Much more confident with that defense with Myers in. 
Uh, so I would probably go Philly ML. But, you know, New Jersey's been a, a, a pesky team this year so far. So uh, it's, 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 a, it's not as, I'm not as confident as I normally would be if Philly and New Jersey match up here. So I'm going to lean to Philly, and you are as well, I guess. Um, right. So we're going to go – let me go back to my odds here. Uh, Washington Islanders, and we have a – man, there's a lot of games on this card. Uh, <laughs> Washington Islanders, and uh, we got to play on both here, I think. Yeah, so we're going to skip that game. Uh, Calgary, Montreal, we got to play on the line. Um, I don't think we talked much about the total, but I think we're both leaning the over on here. Yeah, that's a strong lean to the over. Um, uh, Montreal, uh, for whatever reason, they're, they're, I think they're one of the top four teams with penalties, and penalties usually means power plays and usually means goals. So uh, I would definitely lean toward the over. Yeah, if they keep on getting penalties like they are, then that they're going to shoot them. They could shoot themselves in the foot in this game. They almost did it against Vancouver. Calgary should be mm -hmm. tired. They traveled from Calgary to Montreal, uh, had a day off, but uh, and and really they they hopefully will be angry since they got killed, beat twice by Toronto in their own barn. But uh, that's been the problem with Calgary is I haven't seen the anger needed to have pushback in games. So it's going to be very difficult there. Um, I don't like to do overs with Carey Price in net. And it's a six and a half, right? That's the thing. I, I wouldn't have thought it opened up that high. No, it's six. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll give a strong lean to the over there too. I thought it was six and a half. Okay. So, yeah. okay. So if you like the over, I would grab it now. Yeah, for sure. Get, want, get in that right away, yeah. for sure. No doubt about it. By game time. Uh, Montreal, Minis or, sorry, uh, Los Angeles, Minnesota. I don't think we got to play. We can give them something on both here. Um, I think we're from. I think we're leaning. I'm leaning. I, I'm going back to the well with Los Angeles. I just love the way they're playing. It doesn't really make sense that they beat Minnesota twice in the road, twice or twice in a row on the road. But um, I'm seeing faults in Minnie's game against big hulking teams like Los Angeles to play them hard. So I'm going to, I can't, I don't think I'm going to pull the trigger on it, but I'm probably going Los Angeles and I'm probably going the under. Yeah. Um, I, I think we're split on both of it. Uh, I lean toward the over. Um, again, I want to see who's in goal. Um, I had the over on it the last time. Didn't even come close. Um, I lean Minnesota um, because You know, they're the newer road uh, teams. They're both teams that are like right on the verge of making playoffs uh, this year. And I just can't see a middle of the road team beating another middle of the road team two games in a row on the road. So I've got to lean Minnesota on it. Um, but uh, I'll tell you what, that, that was a fun game. Uh, uh, I would have liked to have seen the whole game, but the highlights I saw, uh, uh, both of them stood in their head uh, playing gold uh, game the other night. Yeah, yeah, um, and that old, uh, Quick has been fantastic, and uh, Ka uh, Kapo Kap Kakinen's making a name for himself with Minnesota there. So, uh, yeah, I, that's why I kind of go under. I could be wrong about the Los Angeles game. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to pull the trigger on it, and I'll probably kick myself for it, but... Uh, we'll go Detroit. It's competitive. Yeah. I think that's the point we're trying to make. They're too competitive to, to say yay or nay on the side or a total because you can see it going either way. And yeah. when I see it going either way on both ends, I just stay away from the game. Yeah. Uh, Detroit, Dallas. Uh, we got to play on the total here, so we're going to go the line. I think you're, most people are going to be going Dallas here. I kind of like Detroit on the PL. Dallas is playing four games in six, look really tired last game, and uh, have J uh, Ben, uh, Ropo Hints, and Sagan out for this game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I kind of like Detroit PL, 
based on the fact that what's the spread? Uh, they're getting the same. Uh, sorry, they're getting a one um, one seventy on on the spread at plus one and a half. Where Dal where Dallas is only getting one fifty on the ML. So what do you got on that? Um, I mean, I'm a Dallas lover. Detroit shouldn't even be close in that game. Um, it amazed me they played them that tough last time. But I think you hit it on the head. Dallas looked tired. Now, is this one day off enough for them? I don't know. It should be because they had only played two games up to uh, the game the other night. So this is only their fourth game. It's four games. Uh, so in, they, it's four games in they, six nights, though. That's the thing. The wear and tear of four games in six nights. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I leave out, um, but uh, uh, I can see where you're coming from, so I don't think I would want to go to the puck line, but that would be the only way I'd bet it if I bet it straight up because I'm not going to pay that kind of juice. Um, so I would probably tie it into a parlay or recommend it in a parlay yeah. to cut down on juice. I'm not sure I'm, not, I'm, not sure I'm going to pull the trigger on that game, but we'll see. Yeah. If they're if Detroit's playing Grice in net, I'd probably even more go plus one and a half. Grice is hot right now. But go to Patreon and find out what we like on the total. Yeah, you go. Yeah, go to Patreon and find out what we like on the total. We got if and that goes for the next game too, because we got a total on the next game. Uh, what do you like on the line on Anaheim and Arizona? On the side. On the line. Um, Money line. What, what do I got? Yeah, what do you like for Anaheim, Arizona? Money, oh, uh, money, money line. We already have some on the total. Arizona. Uh, uh, there's no way Anaheim's going to take two games in Arizona. I find, uh, yeah. I will be all over Arizona. I find it hard to believe that they will, uh, that they will beat them twice too. But I mean, I think it's possible. It's almost like a coin flip game every time these guys play right now. So. It's uh, they're almost the same kind of team, both both of them. But I I agree, probably I'd lean Arizona. Um, is call, is Gibson in there again? Uh, Gibson, well, I'm pretty sure they'll both be in. But if anything changes, you can find out on Patreon because we update our patrons with changes and stuff like that that happen. So uh, Colorado, San Jose. Uh, I got a, I got a play on both, I believe here. What's the uh, total? Yeah, we got to play on both, so we'll skip that game. Uh, St. Louis, Vegas. Uh, we got to play on the line, and do we? Do we have? I don't think we had a play on the total though. No. So we don't have a play on the total. So what do you got on the total at six? Well, you know, they, they, what, what did they score, uh, eight or nine goals the last time? Uh, a lot of that had to do with his, I think that was a game that had 30 minutes of penalties. 5-4, uh, yeah, 5-4, yeah. Uh, I can't see Barube and, I can't see Bar Barube Flurry. and, sorry, go ahead. Who's going to go, Flurry and uh, Bennington, or, or who are they going with, do you know? It's probably going to be Bennington, and it's probably going to be, I don't know, it doesn't really matter between Flurry and Laner, really. I would think it's Flurry, because uh, Laner played the other night. Um, yeah, I'd probably go under. You know, under. if I had one way or another, that's a tough one to call. Uh, that that's a tough game to call. Yeah, I, I think six is the full is the total there. It just seems like it's a push. Uh, that's probably for me. I I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say St. Louis is a little tired. Uh, I don't know. Under, I guess. I mean, flip a coin, really. Uh, Toronto versus Edmonton. Uh, we 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 don't have a play on either. I don't think we have a play on either. Are you strong on the total here? I can't remember. Uh, uh, as I've said in, I think, both the last two videos, and I'll say it in the third video, Toronto is my nemesis in hockey. Right. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know why, but, uh, um, you know, when I look at it, uh, uh, I think Toronto will go in there and beat Edmonton. Um uh, the way they're playing right now, I mean, uh, I, I am so impressed uh, 
the, they finally got a defense that they seem to be lacking all, all these years. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I would lean Toronto on that game. Um, as far as the over-under, I would have to say under because I think Edmonton will tighten it up a little, especially being at home. Um, although it doesn't matter a whole lot when the fans aren't in the stands. But, uh, uh, yeah, it, I, I'd have leans to Toronto and under. Yeah, this last time they played, they tightened it up quite a bit, and Edmonton won that game. Um, I'm probably going to lean to the under on that as well. But, I mean, if McDavid and Matthews decide to pick corners all night, you know, it could easily go over as well, right? You're talking about two, fa- like so. You're some fantastic talent in the on in the rink and the in, on those games for sure. On that game for sure. Um, finally, oh no, yeah, we got that's still on Thursday. Ottawa, Vancouver on a back to back. Ottawa yep. played Hogberg uh, tonight. We didn't even talk about this game actually, so we could be giving you a paid pick here. Let's just give them a pick, and if we're gonna do it, then we're gonna do it. Uh, Vancouver will probably be playing Holtby. Ottawa will probably be playing Murray. I got to think over all day here, and I'm going to stick with Vancouver to keep crushing Ottawa. Uh, well, I think you're probably wrong on the goalies because that's the two that played tonight. Uh, and that, so I wouldn't think it's no, Flurry or... Uh, Hog- Hogberg played, and Demko played tonight. Who did? Hogberg played for Ottawa, and Demko played for Vancouver tonight. Ah, because, see, I never got a goalie confirmation on that. So mm-hmm. um, so I imagine okay. it's going to be Holtby and Murray, and Murray's been a bag of crap so far. So Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like Vancouver, and I, I would say over again. Yeah. So those are, <laughs> um, those are probably paid picks the way I'm thinking now. So you, you got some paid picks there, guys. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go. I'm pretty sure we're oh again we we have so much fun we just keep on going and going here, but I'm pretty sure we're over our time. Uh, actually, we kept it to a half an hour today, big guy. That's not bad at all. We're starting yeah. we're starting to par it down a tad. Well, boys and girls, you watch every minute anyways. Like you're disappointed I'm getting off the air right now, aren't you? Of course you are. Uh, hit the subscribe and the bell and all that stuff, please. That really helps our channel a lot. Helps us a lot. If you go over to Patreon, that helps us a lot. We get to keep on doing this fine programming when all of y'all support it. Also, comments in the comments section. We love that stuff. We can, Let's get chatting about our picks. What did you pick last night? Well, what are you looking at? I, might, I can talk to you still about it. Uh, the closer it gets to game time, I might even, if you're commenting down there, I might even fill you in with some of our paid picks. So uh, just there, there you go. Gives you a little reason yeah, to like chat it up. Else, uh, if, if you have input or insight on a game uh, or, or an angle that you see, uh, we'd love to hear from you too. Uh, we're all in this together. We're all in it to make some money. Sure are. Well, that's our full 42 right now. That's all we have to give from Alabama, hockey state of Alabama. And uh, <laughs> and uh, Edmonton, which is also a hee-haw because we are country folk here as well. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to ya.